Good morning everyone from somewhere in the Midwest. This is CEO Prepper and today we're going to be discussing uh, the situation down in the Caribbean where uh, a lot of these islands are taking uh, full-blown hits uh, from Hurricane Maria. Um, you know they're still trying to recover from Irma which uh, opened up a can on them uh, and you know a lot of these people are still without power a lot of them are um, you know are, are still trying to rebuild um, and this is where you know it's a I'm gonna put this as a case study um, you know it's something that preppers uh, this situation, situations like this is what preppers um, have been preparing for for years. Um, and now we get to see um, in practice um, how preparedness versus uh, being unprepared um, actually affects people. Puerto Rico is about to get the full onslaught of uh, this latest hurricane. Uh, Hurricane Maria so we get to see um, how that works they're still with a lot of people in Puerto Rico still without power um, they are at the point where now the government of Puerto Rico is rationing out food not just you know your normal everyday food but they're also rationing out things like baby food they're rationing out water now, preppers know this is never a good sign when they're rationing out uh, food and water. Uh, and how long it's going to take for uh, Puerto Rico to reestablish their power grid is a, uh, is a question that's up for debate right now. Again, this is, that's why I said this is going to be more of a case study to see how this works. Um, you know government response time to get things uh, back online the reason I say that is because I was uh, talking to a friend of mine um, who actually is a, is a uh, subscriber to the channel um, and he actually um, owns a company that is uh, working on hardening uh, our power grid um, against um, you know hackers uh, and, and malicious attacks um, that way uh, I have to put a link uh, to his uh, company's website uh, later uh, right now he's down in Texas uh, helping with the reconstruction efforts I'm sorry with the um, well yeah reconstruction efforts after Hurricane Harvey so uh, it'll, it'll be real interesting to see um, how things uh, progress uh, from these uh, these storms. Uh, the reason I brought my friend up uh, is because of this uh, reason. Uh, like I said, his company is um, you know designing uh, systems to uh, protect the power grid from uh, hackers um, that will try to use um, you know some kind of a, uh, a program to bring down our our uh, grit and so that's what his company is a uh, purpose to do um, but we were talking one day about this and he said he told me you know based on their research uh, and their models if a if an attack on the power grid uh, did occur uh, from a hacker, then or hackers or uh, you know anything that could take down our power grid, it would take a minimum a minimum of six months for our power grid to come back online. And in that six months, expect a 90% casualty rate um, from uh, such a catastrophic event. Uh, a lot will die uh, simply from starvation um, and uh, dehydration. 
a lot of others will die from um, basically being unprepared and then you got others that will uh, die from uh, basically getting uh, robbed and um, basically uh, simply put it's going to be like the 21st century version of Mad Max. Uh, and that's exactly the phrase he used was imagine a world of Mad Max in reality and that's what you'll have and so that gave me a moment of pause uh, so now that we're seeing this uh, from hurricane damage down in uh, the islands and uh, in the Puerto Rico uh, we get to see how uh, this why preparedness is such a uh, such an important and necessary thing that preppers try to uh, preach to others uh, and those that will listen uh, those that don't well the best thing we can do is um, you know get you a be ready bag and pray for you and especially if your family and uh, you know kind of you know stop talking about it because you know People are going to listen or not, and so, uh, you know, you, you, you've got, that's why we go through and we make videos like these, you know, to, uh, to educate the public, to share our experiences, to share what, our knowledge, um, and what we're learning, uh, you know because it's very valuable information and you know it's either going to be you know you're either going to have it or you're not and if you're not you're in really bad shape and so you know watch i, I would say watch uh the developments um with uh maria um and take into account the lessons from um Irma and Harvey, um, and we're, we'll go through in a later video about uh, what we've learned uh, from uh, these three hurricanes, uh, and um, basically we'll, we'll put our case study out there. Okay, so that's it for me this morning. Uh, you guys uh, prepare yourself. It's never a question of if, it's a question of when.